What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your new to Fridge Tube, and today, obviously, we're gonna do. We're gonna have a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh content coming to the channel. Uh, we're probably gonna only be able to do one game until I get used to the whole uh, recording and cutting bit. Uh, last last recording I recorded was apparently still too big, even though I changed how the file was gonna be done. I was putting it in the wrong file before. But we are going to hop right in. See if we can get a... We'll see how fast this goes. To be truthfully honest with you. Um, it could go very fast. It could go very slow. I don't like going second with this deck. This is uh, an Exodia OTK deck. So. so they go first. We're only in gold. So it shouldn't be that difficult. Oh, this hand's so good. <laughs> All of you guys understand how good this hand is. Okay, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. But that's a, that's really unfortunate because that hand was so good. Let's let's see what happens this time. Ooh, we're going first. We're hoping, yo, if we get lucky to get a similar. It doesn't have to be the exact same. But uh, Toon Book of Contents is what we want, plus that monster we had. Oh. Okay, so. First things first, Renu. Uh, so don't get me wrong, I want the head of Exodia in my hand, but right now he's just taking up a lot of space. We're going to put one of these books of contents back, and we're going to put this in our deck as well. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hear me out. Hear me out. This hand's not as good as the first one. We might even quit ourselves and restart again. But because of that first game that happened, I'm not going to leave you guys unknowing of what could have happened. So, let's see, let's see. So, we do that. Get Toon World in our hand. Use Terraforming. Now, this is the part where we need a lot of luck. This one card has to get us one of two monsters right now. We're gonna draw a card. And that wasn't, that is actually, that is crazy. So he is exactly the monster that we wanted. So basically, it's, it's game over. So we're gonna discard this because that card's 100% useless to us. Now, now the, for the fun to begin, guys. So we're going to activate Treasure Panda's ability. Banish a magic card. Special summon. This Tudor monster. We're going to set the field real quick first. Set the field. I honestly hope he doesn't have a Nibiru in his hand. Uh, if he has a Nibiru, that would, that would ruin everything. But... <laughs> He hasn't done it yet. Okay, so do this. Put you here. And right, now the field is set. Now the field is set. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna special summon him by removing uh, by doing a tuner and this guy. Put him right here. Now if he has an Abiru, not he'd probably use it right now. No, not even close. Ooh. That's intriguing. We're going <laughs> to banish another spell card. Get this little dude out here. Alrighty then. Now we can do this. Now if you guys are wondering what I'm doing right here. We're actually synchro summoning another. Uh, a two star synchro monster. That when it synchro summons. It allows us to draw a card. And now because of this guy's ability. Whenever we synchro summon a monster. We have to draw cards. So now we can draw two cards. <laughs> Two cards for the price of one. Now there's one, and they. Oh man, I could not have asked for a bet, better go. We're gonna do this. Magical mallet. So we're gonna. Now here's a little bit of a tricky thing. So we want. We don't want to draw any of these pieces of Exodia. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna place them on the field. Three of them specifically. Making this much harder for us to draw them. B 
banished. This is our last spell card. So normally you would think, yeah, you're probably screwed right now, right? Wrong. Just absolutely wrong. First off, we're going to do this. Attach it to this. Discard them. <laughs> now we have two more spell cards. Now we have another spell card in our graveyard. Do this. All right. And it's this guy. Special summon our last piece of Exodia. I know. I'm crazy. But here's the fun part. Now we're going to Link Summon. Link Summon. You guys might be like, huh? Link Summon. For those of you who actually don't know this deck, you're probably like, Link Summon. But why are you going to Link Summon? Because this monster actually allows me to draw four cards. So he uses ability. Draw four cards, and it's game. That's get. Oh, it might not be game just yet. Not just yet. All right, so we're going to use this. We're going to draw a card. That's, that's uh, cool. Now we can use this. Special summon this. Send all four of those. All f we don't need that. Those four and that back to their decks. Now we're going to draw two cards. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, special summon. Gonna banish one of these. This. How many do I have here? Two. Use this ability. Upstart Goblin, draw a card. Use this ability, draw a card. Now it's game. All right, we won. GG's. GG's. So if you guys enjoy this content and want to see more, feel free to go follow me on Twitch. will be in my description. And we'll, I love running this deck. This is basically my go-to deck for everything. If you guys enjoyed it, like I said, go follow me on Twitch. You can subscribe to the channel for more epic content. We're going to have all sorts of stuff coming your way, so... Hopefully you guys enjoyed that match. I'm out. Peace. I'm a summon scholar, you know it's a fact Cause I be knuckle dragon, ready wings are black again My sword's my play, so he might send you back With a ballista strap, we keep the things attached Cause we ain't never fucking